What's going on guys? So, I am back with the brand new Zippo from Riley's. This is the Copper Zippo, the black insert. And I did a little trip to the dollar store. So this is part one. Uh, we're gonna see if I could create a shipwreck patina on this lighter. So I know some of you guys are gonna be like, eh, you should just keep it polished. Well, I just wanna make it my own. There's gonna be plenty of people who, you know, do force patinas on these. There's gonna be plenty of people who do a natural patina. And I'm sure there'll be a handful of people who just keep them brand new and, and nice and shiny. But anyway, I went to the dollar store. I picked up ammonia. The problem is I actually went to two different stores. They didn't have, the ammonia is all sold out uh, around here when it gets bare in their garbage. So they buy up all the ammonia so they can throw it in the garbage cans and stuff. This is lemon scented. Uh, I don't know if that's going to play any kind of role. It's a chemical reaction that's taking place. So I don't think the lemon's going to make a difference. But worst case scenario, I can, you know, I guess uh, sand it down and try again. But uh, I picked up the ammonia. I picked up natural sea salt. I was gonna get a big container, but I don't need it, so this little grinder's fine. So it's just sea salt. I picked up some disposable containers for a dollar. Um, I picked up a sanding sponge, because what I wanna do is really give a very light sanding job all around. The sides of this Zippo is kind of polished, as I mentioned before, so I really wanna just bring that down so it's the same type of finish all the way around. You can see it's already kind of coloring a little bit, not really coloring, but it's starting to form a patina just from me handling it uh, yesterday, so. Anyway, I'm going to clean it up, or sand it down first, clean it up, and then I also bought a squirt bottle so I can uh, handle the ammonia a lot easier. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the container, I'm going to line the bottom with some paper towels, I'm going to soak the bottom with ammonia, I'm going to use some kind of a stand, maybe a piece of cardboard or something, or a piece of plastic to just kind of keep it up uh, out of the way. Um, once this is fully cleaned and ready to go and, and lightly sanded, I'll take the insert out, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak this. I'm going to spritz this with ammonia and I'm going to put salt on different areas, okay, to see how that's going to react. So, like I said, this is just part one. I'm going to prep everything and I'll show you once I'm, I'm ready to uh, get this started. Okay, so first off, this block worked absolutely perfectly. All right, I just cleaned the lighter off completely, gave it kind of like a Scotch Bright finish on it. All right, to the sides, I actually taped off the bottom because I want the um, you know the actual stamping and stuff to be somewhat legible you know so i don't want to worry about that so i end up covering that but yeah we should be ready to go so what i want to do is open our container here all right take out i happen to have a little knife stand to utilize all right so first thing i want to do is take our ammonia to put in the bottle and i put paper towels down in this container so I want to soak them. Come yeah, on. There we go. Okay. So completely soaking these paper towels. Again, in the ammonia. Oh, jeez. Oh, I just caught a whiff of that. Now, hang on. <laughs> Gotta get some fresh air after that. Whew. God, wind took it. Now, let me blow this. Let me do this off to the side here. I definitely don't want to breathe this stuff in. All right, I think that's plenty. Okay. Next, what I want to do is I want to take the insert out. All right, save that off to the side. We have our case here and I want to let's see let's put this stand in there let's spray the case down try to be careful I don't want to get any on me really I'll make sure this is totally saturated and put that on the little stands and make sure we get the back and I'm tilting the bottle the wrong way. Gotta get some up the little spray tube. Come on. Come on. Hang on. All right. There we go. So it's fully saturated. 
Then we're gonna grab some salt carefully. Actually, I'm gonna take my glove off now because I don't wanna get the ammonia on the salt. Take the other glove off. All right, I'm gonna grind on some salt. Right now it's kinda, I don't know if I wanna try for like a pattern. And you know what, let me, let me grind some in my hand. I'll try to throw it right kinda in the middle here. I get a big pinch. Try to concentrate it in one spot. It's kinda up towards the left there, let's see. All right, and maybe down on the bottom, right? Yeah, I guess that's good enough. So I'm gonna leave that like that, and we're gonna put the top on. Get the insert out of the way. And this is gonna sit here, I'm gonna let this sit for 24 hours. All right, so the idea here is that the fumes from the ammonia, make sure there's a seal cheap dollar store Tupperware thing. Make sure this thing actually seals. Is that sealed? I don't want it to fall over either. Okay, that's sealed. All right, so at least it's clear. We can see what's going on. All right, so this should have a chemical reaction. And uh, I believe where there's a, a concentrated amount of salt, it will be less blue. It'll be more that copper color. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how this uh, goes. So again, I'll be back in 24 hours. Actually, I'll probably come back in like, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes or half an hour just to see how it's going. But uh, we're gonna let it sit for a full 24 hours. Then I'm going to probably clean up a little bit and hit it with a clear coat, depending on how it comes out. You know, but this is a process you can repeat. If you don't like how it comes out the first time, you can certainly try again. So it should be interesting. So we'll see, I'll be back. All right guys, so it has been 20 minutes. Let's go ahead and take a little peek see in here. See there's already a reaction going on. But I'm gonna let this thing sit overnight. It's actually about to rain, but that should be fine because this is totally sealed. So yeah, we'll see what this thing looks like in 24 hours. I'll get back to you.